people get scammed 30 times a year, and it's proven that your scams come in all kinds of different ways. They can come through phone calls, text messages, emails, people come into your front doors. I mean, all that stuff. You say that you just recently got scammed. Guys, we laugh at these people, and I am now one of them. I cannot believe I fell for this. So here's what happened. Lucy had said to me that one of the things she really, really wants for Christmas this year is this very specific Barbie dream house that she saw like on a commercial or in a toy catalog or something. So I, I Googled this, this dream house and she pointed to exactly which one it was. Well, at like Target and Walmart, it's $199. Girlfriend, you're not getting this Barbie dream house. But I noticed that there was, on my phone, on the Google search, there was one that was on a Barbie website and it was an overstock sale and it was the same Barbie dream house for $78.99. Ooh, nice. And I was like, oh, I'm, this, I'm totally going to get this one. So I click on it and there was like a little, it said like, this is, you know, our overstock sale and it had a page of a couple of different items. This Barbie dream house was on there. There was a countdown clock that said like, you know, 12 hours and nine minutes left in the sale to take advantage of this price, which was like more than half off. So I really quickly bought it using my PayPal because I have all of that saved in my phone. A few minutes later, I get an email confirmation from PayPal. My purchase had gone through, but the seller that my money went to was just a whole bunch of like Chinese symbols. Oh, oh no. So I'm thinking I'm bu- I bought it from the actual legit Barbie website. And then I went back to look and it is from, hang on, I'm looking at my bill now. It is from Barbie, Barbie USA dot store. And my confirmation has the, be careful with this message. Uh, It might be a scam or phishing. Mm. And I'm like, how did I fall for this? I'm not getting this Barbie dream house. What was the stat Mojo said yesterday? 30% 30. of people have been no, scammed. No, 30 scams. People get, people get scammed 30 times a year. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, That's it. Or so, And what was the other thing I said? If it sounds like it's too good to be true, I know. <laughs> I mean, we, but you don't. I feel you though. You don't. You don't realize that. Like you're so. It like, looked exactly the same as the Barbie website. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're you're so desperate to get it, like. And quickly, because I was about, like, oh, yeah. this is too good of a deal. It's gonna sell out. Like the sale's only good. It's overstock, whatever. So I wasn't mm. even thinking. I'm so mad at myself. You know. Stupid Barbie dream house. You, uh, you I picture you because I know that you're a fan of hers. Being like Betty White, living to like a hundred, and I'm sending, gonna have a Nigerian prince boyfriend. And, exactly, and sending money <laughs> over, <laughs> and sending money to like no, you're gonna get the whole uh, Smiths in jail right now in uh, in England, and you need to bail them out, and you're gonna be like, well, I just talked to Smith a second ago. He's right down the street, you know, hanging out with his friends. But, but that actually uh, happened to me, not with Smith, but with my sister. So like they the, said that you she know was in jail, I, and she was. And she was in jail. Oh, yeah. she, so it wasn't that she was scared. So I would you fall for that one because it's sh- actually happened to me. You should me. have not bailed her out and said you thought it was going to be a scam. Um, Terry, hi. Hi. I did the dumbest thing. I ordered a weight set in the mail for my son. I don't know what I was thinking. That scam all over it. I'm thinking I don't have to carry it. They'll bring it right to the door. So anyways, it said delivered, and I never got it. So I was so mad that I got scammed. However, I got my money back because the package they delivered clearly was not the 300-pound weight set. It said, like, two pounds. So I was able to prove (laughs) that they did not deliver it, and I got my money back. But looking back, how silly was it to order a weight set in the mail? Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, I you, mean, I just did two weeks ago, and only half of them were delivered. I'm really pissed about now, it. Now you're wondering oh, no. after hearing Terry. <laughs> Terry, I bet years ago, I, I fell for the, the scams of the um, the guy that drove by the house trying to sell meat. You ever, if you guys remember that? that oh, that yeah, was they come take scam. your order. The guy, the guy would come to your house, and what he would do is he would pull up in a van, and he had he would have, like, meat that was on his truck. And then he would tell you, hey, here's all the meat I have, and he would show you a whole bunch of meat. And he, he would show you, like, the cuts and things like that. And then he would say, we're going to deliver it to you. We're going to have it all packaged and wrapped and all this. It's going to be, like, amazing. And then you pay the guy, and he leaves in his truck with the meat, and, and you, you never get, get the meat. meat. Mm-hmm. You don't get the meat. 
So um, look at this website. Years ago, doesn't it look just like you don't know what yeah. the official Barbie website? Looks it looks like, like the but Barbie it really logo, does. kind of doesn't it's it? Ev- like it's that, perfect. Yeah, those bastards. Trying, still trying to defend myself Damn here. Damn people that scam you and other countries. What's up, Michelle? I, I wanted to tell Shannon I almost did the exact same thing this weekend. I saw that exact same website when I Googled, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's such a great deal. Yes. And then I went back, and I went to the Google search, because I'm like, what? Like, it, you, the website was what was weird. And I was like, okay, well, where's the official Barbie website? And I found it down below, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's... She making you feel dumb? So yeah, I thought it was Target, though. Oh, I'm looking, I, 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 I'm I looking at Shannon's know. face right now. I, I did not Shannon's do due face. diligence. I was just uh, like, wait, <laughs> half off. I'm buying it right now. Yeah, this is a deal. Gotta before it. everything yeah. sells out lately. Spike, what is it that has to be in the front? Yeah, HTT, what is it? The- HTTPS. As a it's secure, secure site, yeah. yes. <laughs> and it should never be a dot .store, dot .nz, dot .anything other than... Dot Michelle, com. when you're talking about, so I went back and did all this stuff. Shannon just quickly <laughs> went to her PayPal. I'm sorry. It's okay. That I'm an idiot. But go to Target if you have your Target card. I do. Five percent off. I know, but That's still. I I hey, mean. guess what? You now you thought it was expensive uh, then. Now it's <laughs> now it's uh, what? How much? Eighty some dollars more expensive that you're gonna have to pay now. What's up, I'm David? Shannon, you're definitely getting the Barbie Dream House. But it's gonna fit in the palm of your hand. <laughs> yeah. You know what's so funny, David? You're my dad just did the same thing. He ordered like new felt for his pool table. Somebody gave him an old pool table and he wanted to redo the felt. And he thought he was getting a good deal on it, and it came, and it was like the size of a cigarette box. <laughs> That's a you big thing with Instagram ads. Yeah. Instagram ads yeah. will show you something, and you don't realize they're still sending you something, so they can't be pulled up for fraud, <laughs> but it's you just didn't look at it. Give it to Lucy and see what Lucy thinks. It'll be a fun little toy to play with. What's up, uh, Mary? Hey, so my husband called me, and he's like, why don't you order these Tims? They're all on sale. So we both ordered Timberlands for sixty dollars, hmm. and they didn't come. They didn't come forever. And then finally, one day, we got a bunch of random socks in the mail. <laughs> socks? Were they, were they Timberland brand socks? Nope, they were like black and red stripes. <laughs> wow. Well, now it's a game. I'm very excited to see what I'm going to get. Marvin. Hello. This Lego scam is interesting. Tell us about it. Um, I went to go order Lego uh, Minecraft for my grandson, and it came in the mail, and I got it, and it said, instead of saying Lego Minecraft, it said Lego Bite Me on it. <laughs> I, and my grandson will not let me let it down to this day. He goes, Grandpa, do you want to buy me a Lego Bite Me uh, Minecraft? I'm like, no. He will not let me let it down for love of money. I'm oh, I'm so embarrassed funny. about it. Dude, you don't even sound like a grandpa. You sound like, seriously, you're, you're a grandpa? Oh, yeah, three times. Oh, my gosh, wow. Yeah. Uh, hey, wow, and, that's um, wild, Grandpa. Let me ask you a quick this, question. Huh? What's your uh, your uh, credit card number and so in the security <laughs> code number too? Bite me, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. What's up? Hey, when I'm going to age myself here, but when I was a teenager, I wanted a Hanson poster so bad. And I had gotten a, one of those teeny bopper magazines, and in the back of them you could order stuff. And I saved my money. My mom wrote a check, and I still haven't received it to this day. Uh, so oh. depressing. How wild and will it be? there's nobody to complain to. How wild will it no... be if one day it shows up at your house years later and it was just lost in the mail and it really wasn't a scam? Well, thank goodness my parents live in the same house. But, yeah, that's a, that's a downer to save $9.99 mm-hmm. and never receive your picture of Hanson. Oh, man. <laughs> We, oh. You know what? We have got to have somewhere around here an old picture of those guys. I have a that's laying around. Girl, I got you. Yeah. Good I'll karma. We'll, we'll send it your way. I'll even sign it for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll put it on my wall. All right. Take care of yourself. So what's this? The Amazon uh, doll scam, dollhouse scam? Is that right, Kristen? Yes. Tell I us tried about. to order this loving family dollhouse for my daughter, and I waited forever for it to come. It was really expensive, and uh, it finally comes, and I'm like, this package is way too small. So I rip it open, and all the writing on it was Asian writing, 
and it was reusable sponge tampons. Oh, <laughs> oh my and God. I was oh, reusable so tampons. So confused. I was like, what is this even? It was horrible. Huh. Absolutely horrible. Three little gross sponges for like a hundred and something dollars. Uh, Maybe they're collector's <laughs> items. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I love, by the way, the, the, the smaller things that people get, but listen to Tom's. Tom. How you doing? Tell everybody about the Christmas tree that you bought. Yeah, I was on Facebook, and they advertised this Christmas tree that opens with remote control and all this. And then I waited and waited and waited, and like a month later, this was just recently, I, I get it in the mail, and it's in a 12-inch box. I almost bought that same tree <laughs> last year. I talked about it. I wanted it so badly. It's a 12-inch yeah, Christmas tree. Yep, yep. And then you, you bitch to him, and you send him, you know, you call him up, and you say, you know, this isn't what you advertise. Well, send it back, and we'll refund your money, hmm. you know. Cost you more money to do that. Send it back for sure. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what? At least you got a talking piece. You know what I mean? Like you can yeah, show right, everybody. Right. Right? Right, right. Right, right. For 40 bucks. <laughs> right. Right, 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 Tom. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs>